back and forth. <laughs> 8,000. All right, so we mentioned this summer vacation officially over for yep. the nearly 1 million kids across New York City. The first day of school here for the largest school system in the country. You all remember your first day of school, oh, right? Yes. So many emotions, so many points of anticipation, but also some anxiety. We had brand new fur hides and the fire was I roaring. Knew, we invented the wheel that I year. I knew Mike. I was going to tee you up. Sharpen like the stones Sharpen to the stone. carve Perfect. the cave Amazing. walls. <laughs> anyway, I want to reporter Phil Tate is in this era, and he's in Williamsburg. Phil, I know you remember it well because you went to school in Brooklyn. What is it like for the students out there in Williamsburg this morning? Oh, it's a whole lot of fun. These kids really had a great time as they were welcomed by their teachers and school administration. And they're just some of the nearly a million students who head back into their schoolhouses. Here, it was a whole lot of fun. I wish I got to see the mayor and the chancellor on my first day of school, but I want you all to take a listen as the fun got started bright and early. The first day of school! Oh yeah, that's the school's principal who got everyone in the back to school spirit. The DJ was playing all of the hits and the kids, well, they couldn't keep still. Well, students were welcomed with a photo wall to take pictures at and with their family members. And then they were all greeted by school's chancellor, David Banks and Mayor Eric Adams, wishing them well for the new school year as they entered the building. Well, parents and students alike are excited for a brand new start. I'm going to do very good in school, go every day, and I'm going to go to um, the sixth grade. He's going to do wonderful this year, and prom he's waiting for, he's waiting for graduation, he's waiting to start middle school, we're beyond happy. So I'm excited for him to have a wonderful year. Um, I hope he uh, enjoys school and learns as much as he can. <laughs> And while there was a whole lot of fun, still a big talker is New York City's delayed plan to restrict cell phone use by students in city schools. Well, as of today, there is no citywide policy for schools on cell phones, and the DOE estimates half of schools have cell phone restrictions in place. Now, when I saw the mayor, I asked him about all of this. He says that there's more work to be done and that this is something that he'll be laser focused on. We want to get it right and make sure that students would understand why we are doing it. We know that these distractions need to be removed from our classrooms, everything from bullying uh, to uh, not paying attention to studies to just some of the material that's on social media that's leading to so many behavior issues. So we know that's a problem. Now let's implement it correctly so that we can be sure uh, to be successful. We don't have to go backwards like others had to go backwards. Yeah, and the mayor also yesterday says that there's more greater access and accessibility to education as he says that 24 new school buildings will be open this year. And as I heard you all just talking about your memories of going back to school, you know, me, New York City, grew up here in Brooklyn. Make shout out to McKinney High School, not too far from yeah. here. Okay, we took two buses to get to school, <laughs> but it was a whole lot of fun. Shout out to all my teachers there. We had to wear uniform. We did wear uniform, but you know, the, the kicks, you know, they were always on fire. So always a lot of good memories there. <laughs> you gotta make it special. Bill Tate in Williamsburg. Can. I gotta finish my report. <laughs> there you go, Sam. Always make it special where you can. That's right. That's right. So fun. Nice job.